So in the next 10 minutes, you're gonna learn the best and easiest way of building a website using AI. And this is gonna be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial, the best one you'll find on YouTube because not only am I gonna show you how to actually create it using Lovable, I'm also gonna tell you how to integrate Stripe so you can actually get paid and everything else you actually need to know. Um, so I'm gonna be doing this live so you can literally follow me step-by-step. -step. I'm gonna make it super easy and let's jump straight into it. So as you can see, there are five steps. Step one is gonna be how to actually build the website on Lovable using a few prompts I'm gonna give you, how to actually connect a domain to it so it's gonna be published to the real world. Um, step three is gonna be creating Superbase so you can store data um, from the information you get when people sign up using the website. Um, obviously connecting to a CRM and then the most important part is going to be step five where I show you how to actually nurture leads and convert them using an email sequence that I'm also going to give you as a template if you stick to the end of the video. So this is a very important one. No long intro needed. Let's jump straight into step one um, and bear in mind this is literally free besides just buying a domain which is a few dollars and then if you want to connect it to a domain on Lovable it's 20 bucks but besides that it's very cheap, like that is literally it. So step one is going to be how to actually create a website. Now, if you aren't familiar with Lovable, um, they actually have a bunch of templates. So if you are in like real estate, you can obviously just use the templates they have and tweak the actual copywriting. If you are in SaaS, you can do that right there. Um, same with, you know, a modern business landing page. It's very easy. However, what I've done is given you guys an actual prompt and I'll put this in the description um, in terms of, just a copy and paste one. So you can literally go like this, head over to lovable.dev, just log in for free basically. Once you log in, you can very easily just copy and paste it. That's why I'm giving you everything in this video. I'm gonna give you the email sequences, I'm gonna give you the how to integrate Stripe into your website, everything like that. So just keep watching, um, but you can very easily change this. So yeah, build me a modern high converting website for let's say you are providing agency services, you could just, um, yeah, put that in right there. So you can obviously change this in your own time, but all you need to do is just click enter and you can see it's gonna start creating the actual website. Now, um, whilst it's doing that, I wanna preference that it may take a few back and forths to actually get the right style and the right um, you know, fonts as well as the right headlines um, for what you actually want. Um, but you can see how easy it is and that's why we're using Lovable because you just put a prompt in and it's gonna actually build the uh, website. So let's move on to step two. Um, which is actually connecting a domain. So what I've done is I've loaded up my GoDaddy. Um, this is the one that I recommend using just because there's a bunch of tutorials on YouTube how to do this, um, as well as um, there's just more support and I think it's the best one. There are cheaper ones like Namecheap, but just go with GoDaddy and just search for the domain that you want. It's really that simple. I'm not gonna buy a domain um, because I already have one obviously, like this is my current SaaS, um, which is a B2B lead generation tool. Um, but yeah, you can just literally buy your own domain in two seconds. It doesn't have to be the .com, you can just get a cheap version. Um, and yeah, there are cheaper options, but just stick with GoDaddy in my opinion. And once you have a domain, um, if you go back onto Lovable, all you need to do is once you've tweaked the actual copywriting and you've made it exactly in the, in the style that you want, all you need to do is just click publish and click on this part, which is custom domains. And once you click on custom domains, you just need to add an existing domain. So once you click connect domain, you need to wait obviously until it finishes, um, which is like, yeah, pretty obvious. Um, so I'm trying to speed run this for time's sake, but you can very easily just uh, wait until it's done and then click continue. Um, just write in the domain that you've bought on GoDaddy, um, which is the hosting platform and uh, yeah, that's as simple as it gets really. You may have to add a few like DNS records, um, but sometimes it just connects automatically. So it's like super streamlined. You can see how easy this is. It's literally plug and play, um, but keep watching because you need to understand how to actually uh, collect data from your website, store it as well as how to actually get paid from your website if you plan on doing that, as well as how to convert leads with the backend email sequence, which I'll explain um, if you keep watching. So yeah, this is still going, um, may take like a few minutes to actually get this going, but I'm just gonna continue going through the actual steps. So step three is going to be creating Superbase for the back end. So what this means is once you have a website, if we take, let's say this one, and we preview it, um, you'll see that you can either like book a demo, depending on what your call to action is. So typically you would have just one call to action to make it 
not too overwhelming for a viewer when they land on your website, but it could be booking a demo call, it could be filling out a form if you wanna do like a lead form, it could be something else, um, like just buying straight away if it's like a low ticket. Um, but what you need to do is essentially store the data that you're getting, like their first name, like their email, like their phone number. And that is done through Superbase. And Superbase is connected inside Lovable. So it's a part of Lovable, which makes it really, really easy. Like I'm not joking, a 10 year old could probably set this up following this video. Um, so yeah, when you get free trials or collect any information for that fact, um, it will literally just, yeah, store it in, uh, uh, what's it called, Superbase. And it's already built into Lovable. So all you need to do is just create a workspace so if we go here and we click on this part right here, which is manage Superbase, you need to connect Superbase. And you can see that you need to essentially go into this part, which is manage connected organizations. Um, and you can either add more organizations or just click continue. I've obviously already got a, um, a Superbase project already. You can see I've got Apex Scrape, I've got another one. Um, but what you can do is just click on create a project and you'll just need to give your project a name. So yeah, 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 literally just give it your name, uh, create a new project, um, and it's as simple as that. And then once you've done that, and you've connected your, uh, sorry, you've created an actual um, project, you can then just go back onto Lovable, and you can basically then just ask it to, if you go here, we can say, please, if you just type this here, please connect my Superbase project to this website. So now it's got a way of actually storing the data and obviously just make sure it's connected. Um, as I said, you should have created it. So you should just be able to click continue and yeah, connect the one that you've created. Um, but it's really, really that simple. Like it's not confusing. If you were to spend two minutes, you could literally get that set up. Um, so once you've actually done that, um, what you can do then is essentially take payments if you wanted to via Stripe. And there are four steps to doing that. So you can pause the video um, and do these four steps if you want. I'm just gonna quickly walk you through them before getting into the actual most more important part, which is connecting to a CRM as well as how to actually get it set up on the back end. Um, but in terms of actually collecting payments through your website, um, you can see here that I think it's complete. Okay, so sometimes if it shows like white here, all you need to do is click publish and just look at it on the preview section. So you can see right here that, yeah, we've got our kind of website with testimonials. We've got like these numbers, you can obviously change them, obviously do change them to what you're actually um, about and your pricing in it and so forth, um, as well as just other things. But you can see pretty solid, you can obviously change everything about this. Um, but if we go back to connecting Stripe using the four steps that I give you, um, just make sure your super base project is connected. So you can see right here that I don't think um, mine is because I don't want to actually mess up my like other one basically, if that makes sense. Um, but you would obviously just connect your yeah super base by going here, connect super base and just connect a project and just choose the uh, project that you want to connect. So it should just load like that. So boom, you can see we've connected R1, which is my SAS. Um, so now all you really need to do is yeah, go to step two which is user authentication. So if you want users to have to sign up, so if you're creating like an app and you want like your email and password before people can actually access the back end, you can do that by saying um, this basically. So you just copy and paste this in. It's actually really easy. That's a beautiful thing about this. Um, and then after it's done that, which I'll show you, you can then just create a Stripe integration. So what it'll do is it's gonna ask you for your Stripe API key and I'll show you how to find that inside obviously you need to uh, create an actual stripe account if you don't have that already um but yeah just approve these changes and once it's done that you can yeah put this but I'll wait a second um so yeah if we click approve we should be able to preview the, preview this in a second and it should have like a sign in page hopefully okay so as you can see it has created this page which is just a user sign in so, so far I've shown you how to actually build the website, um, which you can see by, yeah, here, just going to the preview. Um, I've shown you how to actually add a user authentication so you can get users to sign in if you're creating like a SaaS or an app. Um, and now we need to add Stripe. So once people, um, yeah, go to that page, 
before accessing the back end, whatever that may be, um, they need to obviously pay. So how you would do that is by just typing this in. Once you click on create Stripe integration, you need to actually just get the API key from your Stripe. You can see here that I am in test mode. So none, none of this data is actually like real. So that's why I'm using it. Um, but it also shows you how you can get your Stripe API key inside your account. Um, all you need to do is go down to where it says developers at the bottom left. And once you go down to developers at the bottom, bottom left, you can just click on API keys and you just want to get your um, secret key. So you'd copy that to your clipboard, go back here and um, yeah, you can see all I need to write now is I've got my key and it should give you an option to paste in that key. Um, and I believe it's the secret key. If it's not, then it's the um, one above that, but um, either way, yeah, it's not too difficult. Um, so ideally don't paste it in here, but rather can you give me a box to input my Stripe API key? So yeah, we don't want to paste it in here. We, we want to put it into like a, a box so it's not leaked or anything. Um, obviously this is for explanation reasons. Obviously this API key isn't even real. Um, but you can see here that you can just paste in the key that you have in your Stripe. And that's basically how you connect Stripe to Lovable. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, once you click submit, um, you can yeah just do a test payment in a second. Uh, let's go down to the fourth step, which is actually publish it and test it. Oh, one thing you will need to do is create a product ID. So in your Stripe, click on product catalog, go to create product, and you just need to create an actual product. So we can call this like, I don't know, let's call this um, like free leads. Just an example, um, create your pricing for it. So US dollars, let's say it's like, I don't know, $97 a month, um, add product, keep it really simple. Um, what you'll do is by clicking on this, you'll get a product ID, which is right here. Um, and then you can basically say here, um, here is my product ID. So paste in your product ID. And yeah, we are almost, almost done. Once it has, you know, taken that into consideration, we can almost do a test payment. Um, so yeah, um, you can see, use the product ID. It's 97, 97 a month. And um, yeah, just say it's $97 a month. And I think that's all we really need to, or sh should Stripe check out, open a new tab or redirect? And we'll say, um, let's do redirect to Stripe checkout. And just like that, if we give it a second, so all I've done now is ask Lovable to basically make the subscribe go straight to the Stripe checkout. So if we go onto this website, which we've created essentially, and we click on subscribe, obviously you would change these pricing models to what you are actually doing, if that makes sense, um, which is really easy to do. You just type it inside Lovable, like it's uh, pretty easy. Um, but once you um, have done that and you click subscribe, um, you can actually do a test payment. So for that, you would go to this URL. So docs.stripe.com uh, forward slash testing. And you would just use these numbers. So this is like the card you'd put in. So I'm going to put in this information right now and show you what it will do. So once you click pay and subscribe, you can see right here that it's going to hopefully successfully work. Um, once it does that, it'll give you the option to sign in. Um, or sign up and you'll get access to the back end. And that is how simple it is. And if you actually go to the Stripe now and we go to customers, you can see that it has successfully done that. And the time is 3.07. You can see at the top 3.07. So that is exactly how you integrate Stripe into Lovable on your website. Um, but bearing in mind, you can just have like a free like lead magnet on your website and no paid plan. You can do that. But most typically for like a SaaS, it would be a free option, then a paid um, and that's what I have done personally. Um, so yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Now, the final thing we need to do is go back onto the Google document and we need to connect 
um, the data to a CRM through make.com. Now I've given you the blueprint right here. So if you click on this, um, you can download this um, JSON file. Now it looks confusing, but I promise you all you need to do is go to make.com, click login at the top right to create your free account. It's completely free to do this. Um, create a new scenario and just make sure you do download this. So you can see we've downloaded it. Um, and you basically just need to click on here and then click import blueprint, choose file and just select this. And if you load this in, you can see that we have Superbase. So it's gonna watch new events. So whenever someone like lands on, let's say my current SaaS, but I'm teaching you how to do this for your own. So once someone lands here and they create a free plan or the pay plan, um, it is essentially going to trigger this automation. And what it's gonna do is watch new events in Superbase. It's gonna sleep for 15 seconds, just in case a lot of lead flow is coming through, we don't wanna break it. And then it's gonna actually create a contact inside Go High Level. Go High Level is just a CRM, it's the best tool you can possibly use. Um, and what that means is like inside contacts, um, it's essentially gonna put everyone who opts in here. And once it puts people in here, um, a tag is going to get added and it's going to add them to, let's say, an automation. I don't actually use this sub account for that. Um, I use a different one. But my point is it's going to add them into my CRM so I can see where everyone's at and convert people. Um, and if we go back onto the Google document, um, that is where this lead nurturing and conversion uh, sequence comes in. Because once people have been entered into my high level, they're automatically going to get put onto this sequence. Now, this sequence is, you can see here, um, once so once people like opt in as free leads um, on my on my actual SaaS, you can see here. So once people sign up, they get their free leads. We want to convert them into a paid user. We want to increase the ascension rate, meaning the percentage of people that go from free to paid. Um, and that is very easily done through this sequence. So the tag, as I said, gets added and it's going to send them an email, which is, yeah, the actual access to the leads, which is very important. So they can download the extension. Um, and it's a bit of value. Now, what I've done is created this full um, Google document with a 14 day email sequence. So you can do this for your own or maybe sell this as like some, uh, you know, an offer to someone else um, that you'll set up this whole like infrastructure for them really easily. Um, because once you've done this once, you can do this so quickly. Like um, it's really that easy. It's just the first time when you've never done this and integrated this stuff before that's a bit difficult. Um, but yeah, email one, you're gonna give them value um, so you're going to give them the free lead magnet, which is what you've advertised on your website. So you would actually give them that. Um, then the second email, like a day later, could be value. So you're just giving them value um, and then trying to upsell them with what they get for the 49 a month plan. And yeah, I basically created this so you can just like plug and play this with your own offers. It's 14 days. You can see a lot of value I'm giving you guys for free. Um, and that pretty much concludes this video. Obviously, you may need to go back and watch this again, but... If you like what I've shown you, um, I do have some stuff in the description. I've got my community where we actually give you high level um, for like basically for it's included. It's only a dollar once you're in the community to create an account. Um, so that will help you get clients. And we're actually doing some stupid bonuses right now that I shouldn't be doing because it's a lot of uh, value more so than what you pay. Um, but I am doing free one to one calls for people that join the community. Um, yeah, basically, I give you 500 leads, which is like insane as well and you get 175 different snapshots for every niche so real estate you know accountants lawyers personal trainers gyms fitness coaches you name it we've got snapshots pre-built like websites automations and funnels for every single industry you could possibly want to work with um, and that is in the description so it's 100 bucks or maybe 127 bucks but you get the free one-to-one, -one, you get the 500 leads, you get all of these automations and you get high level, most importantly, to be able to do everything inside of. So you can manage your entire business for that, as well as get my support on how to get clients. So you can see why it's worth it and why we've got a lot of members who are paying that. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Yeah, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy and have a wonderful day.